Hi, this is Severin from the 3D Applications team. Welcome to this tutorial about cavity analysis using ambient occlusion. The new Compute Ambient Occlusion module enables the segmentation of pores and cavities, which usually cannot be distinguished from the surrounding material by considering the gray values and texture properties of the image. This tool is a major feature unlocking segmentation workflows that were not previously possible. This tutorial explains how to use the Compute Ambient Occlusion module to extract cavities in binary images. Usually, the cavities belong to the background and the object is given as foreground. The Compute Ambient Occlusion module is particularly useful if the cavities are connected to the background outside the object. Ambient Occlusion is computed by casting rays from each background voxel into all directions. If a ray hits the foreground, it means that the voxel from which the ray was cast is occluded in this direction. The ratio of the number of rays that hit the foreground to the overall number of rays that were cast gives the value of the ambient occlusion, which is high for regions that are buried inside an object. For regions outside the object, ambient occlusion is low. In this tutorial, you will learn how to compute the ambient occlusion field and then how to use it to perform the cavity segmentation. In this example, we will compute the cavities for a stone dataset with bioerosion traces that are to be segmented. The data is courtesy of Richard Watson, UK. First, load the dataset stonebinarysegmentation.am from the folder Data Tutorials Cavity Analysis. The algorithm requires a binary image as input. Hence, as a first step, we need a binary segmentation of the image that distinguishes between foreground and background. Grayscale images can be binarized thanks to thresholding. See the documentation and watch our tutorials to learn more about binarization of grayscale images and segmentation. We start with the computation of the ambient occlusion field. Attach a compute ambient occlusion module to the stone binary segmentation.am object. The default value of the maximum distance port is set to its maximum. This ensures that the rays being cast do not terminate before either reaching the foreground voxel or the bounding box. In order to speed up the computation, this value should be decreased. Set the number of rays port to 100 to increase the sampling, though 50 usually suffices. In order to compute the ambient occlusion field for the background of the binary image, press apply Depending on your graphics card, it may take a few seconds, up to a minute, to compute. The Compute Ambient Occlusion module requires an NVIDIA graphics card supporting CUDA compute capability 2.0 or higher. To prevent CUDA errors and timeouts, it is highly recommended to use a high-end graphics card. As a result of the computation, a new data object has appeared in the object pool named Stone binary segmentation dot ambient occlusion. This is a float scalar field containing values between minus 0 0.1 and 1. The values of minus 0 0.1 are reserved for the foreground voxels. For background voxels, the values vary between 0 and 1, where a value of 1 means fully occluded and 0 means not occluded at all. We will now perform the cavity segmentation. Select the ambient occlusion field in the object pool and attach an interactive threshold module to it. Go to the intensity range port and set the lower threshold to 0 0.7. Our experience has shown that this is a suitable range for many datasets to compute a threshold segmentation from the ambient occlusion field. Press the apply button. This generates a binary segmentation of the cavity structure that can be visualized, for example, using the voxelized rendering module. In most of the cases, the result of this segmentation will still contain some noise, that is, small labels that are not connected. You can do a post-processing in a segmentation workroom. One way to do so is to use the magic wand tool. For more details, please refer to the dedicated documentation and tutorials. As a summary, in this lesson, you should have learned how to compute the ambient occlusion field and then use it to segment the cavity space. Goodbye and thank you for watching this tutorial.